what is going on guys welcome back to another video and bringing some breaking giants news right now i'm a little late i apologize for that i was working then i had some other stuff to do after that so there's only time to make a video so the giants have signed nate solder from the new england patriots left tackle from the new england patriots oh my god i'm I'm ecstatic about this. The Giants finally do something about the offensive line in a major way. Not drafting players like Bobby Hart and Adam Biznawadi and getting DJ Fluker, which I think we, you know, it, it was a decent signing. But still, we get a guy like Nate Solder, one of the top tackles in the NFL, and is paid like a top tackle in the NFL. Four years, $62 million. That is $15.5 million a year. Uh, on average so um you know we're paying him some good money right now he better he better show for it. i mean i am serious man he better he better show for it you know i don't want us to sign you know give away money and he just plays mediocre like jpp and olivier vernon getting 17 million and they're doing nothing with it so um you know as far as nate solar goes i'm i'm extremely happy uh what does that mean for eric flowers eric flowers is going to probably be moved to the right tackle spot um so there's that he is a better run blocker than he, than he is a pass blocker so uh, i guess a right tackle will, will do fine for him um but let me know if you guys think in the comment section below about about this whole signing and how it went down do you think he's overpaid do you think we paid the right price for him if we go on to um we go on to the top tackles in the league as far as salary goes nate solder's at number one right now 15 and a half uh highest paid offensive lineman in the nfl right now so out of any position but right now we're just looking at uh tackles left tackles in particular so uh nate solder 15 and a half trent williams close second 13.6 russell okun 13.2 uh and Taron armstead with 13 so and tyron smith all the way down there with uh 12.2 so i mean he's right up there with the top tackles in the league so and i don't think he's he's much worse or better than than uh any of the other guys i mentioned so i think he's right up there i think he deserves the money um you guys know i was complaining about norwell getting 13 million but i mean it, there's a difference between the guard and the tackle i think it's harder to find a good tackle than it is to find a good guard so um you know i i like the signing i love the signing um nate solder to the giants 29 years old um you know he's gonna be with us for at least four years so we'll see what happens with nate solder the running game just got a lot better the you know the pass protection for eli just got a lot better eli just got eli has a huge smile on his face right now i'll tell you that but let's get on to the other signings real quick uh, the giants signed cornerback teddy williams he has zero starts in his career he played 36 games he's 29 years old he came from where else the carolina panthers i don't imagine he's going to be doing anything with us i don't imagine he's going to be on the team for very long so i don't imagine he's going to be getting any playing time or he's going to be cut soon so um he was uh undrafted in 2012 got in the league with indianapolis then went to teams like arizona chicago and jacksonville i guess did nothing with them so uh I'm, i don't i don't care about the signing too much I, I don't think anything of it uh next up we signed a huge 3-4 outside linebacker in kareem martin former third round pick in the 2014 nfl draft this is a guy that james betcher is very familiar with coached him up when he was there in arizona um you know he had a couple starts last season had himself a couple tackles i believe like 36 tackles or something like that or 24 tackles somewhere around there uh had 24 tackles one sack one interception uh martin has played 56 games in the nfl with 14 starts and the majority of his starts came last season so um you know with all the injuries happening with arizona last season Kareem Hunt, uh, Kareem Hunt, Kareem Martin was able to step in and prove himself. So James Betcher likes him. He brung him in. He's 6'6", 272 pounds. So hopefully he does something with us. But as far as his record goes right now, I don't think he's going to be doing much with us. Uh, and we'll see what happens. But uh, let me know what you guys think about these signings below. Not only the Nate Solder signings, but the Teddy Williams and the Kareem Martin signings. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, and by the way, on my wish list, I'll, I will link the wish list 
um, in, in, in a card or something like that, if you guys could see, if you guys want to see it. Uh, that is two players so far that was on my wish list, my free agents wish list that the Giants signed. So, uh, I'm pretty happy right now. I don't know about you guys, but um, I really wanted Malcolm Butler. We missed out on him. Um, hopefully we get somebody. I hope, you know, EJ Gaines, if we can get him. He's still a free agent right now. We need another corner besides this Teddy Williams guy. So, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.